Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you um, some critiquing of kitchens in my feed. So I'm on LinkedIn, so I, I'm trying not to necessarily show who posted these because I'm trying to just help give you some perspective and some ideas. Um, but you look at this kitchen here, this is kind of interesting because a nice glossy um, white slab door finish, very sleek and European. Um, good landing space here next to the ovens, a little bit high probably for the average user. Um, but, you know, probably do the job. Um, nice, large island, which is very popular nowadays. You'll hear that in one of my kitchen, my report from the Kitchen and Bath. Um, net, uh, the NKBA and KBIS has a report they put out every year about this time, actually, um, which talks about trends in the industry. <clears throat> and I do videos, excuse me, I do videos on those in-depth uh, perspective, adding my um analysis to what is being um, proposed for the next three to five years. What's interesting about this as well is that there is a, it looks like, you know, the typical butler or functional kitchen behind here where maybe the fridge or the microwave and the uh, cooking appliances, sorry, the, um, the kitchen appliances, small kitchen appliances might be like your mixers and so forth. Um, but you've got your nice uh, presentable um, kitchen on the front. Um, nice look. Uh, all right, next, <clears throat> get back past that again. This is a project looks like that they're getting from a, a remodel um, and just wrapping things up. A couple just small points in this small kitchen here. One, um, you've got this over the range microwave, this slim over the range microwave, which is becoming um, uh, kind of a popular thing. People don't like having, um, I guess, the big over the range microwave look. I'm still not a fan of over the range microwaves, period. And I have a video just on that. But my concern here would be how height is off the cooking surface, which makes it not very user friendly for the typical user. Okay. Um, not really much to say on that one. Okay. This beautiful, um, look at the stonework in here, um, whether that's um, quartz or, or, or porcelain or real stone, either way, beautiful, nice combination with the inset cabinets. They've still got the tape on there. Um, look how the stone, the, they've got no back on that cabinet. Uh, nice look uh, the, that's integrated into the apron front sink. A uh, couple of minor things I do here. I mean, you've got, it doesn't look like the job's done. So maybe this isn't a fair critique, but there's no, um, uh, what do you call it? A cabinet storage. There's no storage on the side, either side of that hood. So you've got to go to another part of the kitchen. I would avoid that. It makes it much easier to have storage right next to your primary um, work triangle uh, places. So your, um, uh, your cooking, you know, cooking surface, your sink area, and your, um, uh, excuse me, your sink and, and your fridge. Um, uh, I'm trying to do two things at once, I guess, and it doesn't work so well. Um, this is kind of interesting uh, combination of colors. I just want to point out, it looks like to me like they're actually showing different ways to do the space. You know, this has got kind of a white um, miniature brick look. This is a, a tile pattern. Uh, almost looks like a wallpaper or tile on a, on a diagonal. And then, of course, you're, you're kind of a gray brick pattern. Uh, but get just a different look. A um, couple points on this one. Love the combination of colors between the, um, you know, love the beams, which gives a lot of... Um, movement and focal point interest to the space uh, makes the space feel long. Um, you've got your kind of um, grayish or beige, um, typically uh, traditionally beige um, vertical um, tile um, texture here. Uh, you've got your stools to match in with your um, your beams. It looks like the cabinets and the, and the stools, they're all trying to kind of match a little bit perhaps. Um, a lot of that um, cream or grayish or beige, you know, finish in here. Um, you know, it looks like they've got French door um, refrigerators with um, drawers. And I'm a little concerned about the um, landing space for th these two fridges here. It looks like this is a single drawer, large drawer. Maybe that's a pantry cabinet. Um, so, you know, it's not fair without being able to open these up and say for sure what's inside there. But I'm taking a wild guess that that's a French excuse me, French door fridge with um, drawers below that sometimes can be converted into freezers or fridges or their actual freezers. Um, I'm always big on landing space for functionality and safety. Uh, ventilation looks like it's sufficiently high that to be comfortable and safe away from a head knocker. Um, it does have the pot filler, which I talk about that a little bit in another, uh, other videos, but, but yeah, kind of neat. I mean, here's some other pictures of the space as well. Now this one is showing you the party who um, submitted this. So I guess it gives them recognition, but I'm trying not to do that if I'm critiquing and <laughs> um, taking away from anything there. Look at the, the, the directional material on that, that stone. That's, that's pretty neat. Um, 
And, uh, you know, so they've got the wolf range in here. Now, I do not get any, by the way, any paid promotions from vendors. Um, I hope that helps me down the road get a lot more visibility because I'm not trying to necessarily try to sell products off my site, off my channel. I'm just trying to give genuine, um, solid feedback on, on design considerations. So looks like that's the only thoughts I have on that one. Let's wrap this up with one or two others. By the way, you know, while I'm doing this, um, would you mind, um, you know, taking a moment and just going down and, and, and click on the subscribe button if you have not yet uh, done that. Now, again, it's going to be hard to show this without seeing the name of the company that, and, and their post in my feed. However, I just want to mention a couple things. Look at the combination of the three colors here. Very, very interesting. You know, um, uh, it could sometimes be a little bit of a distraction on which what the focal point is. Love this. Um, I don't want to, you want to call that like candle bar, light fixture, hanging candle bar, light fixture. These heavy uh, paneled, um, you know, end um, columns, so to say, on this island, um, nice and rich and, and stout. Um, now, um, you know, and, and that hood, of course, is stunning. Um, nice um, angled movement. Uh, it does have a pot filler behind there. Inset looks like insetter or um, slim shaker cabinets. Glass doors, um, really inviting and um, and, and airy. Uh, gives a lot of depth to the space. Look at our fridge um, this area here again. So just back to this this point, guys. Look at your your wall ovens here. Now you do have landing space next to your wall ovens. That's nice. Okay. But no landing space immediately next to these. I have plenty of people tell me, yeah, but they can flip around and use the island. And that's true. But if you've watched my other videos, you've heard me say that that forces you to have to, if you're getting ready to put something heavy down or bring it out of the fridge or put it into the fridge, you have to, to twist and turn to do so. Not only is that maybe not great on the body if you maybe you've got a, a you know a sense of lower back from an injury or um, if some you know kids running through the kitchen and you you know don't see them until you turn around with the the glass salad bowl and, and maybe whack them in the head. So <laughs> anyway, hopefully that gives you some thoughts and perspective. I'll just wrap it up with this. And again, this is showing the name of the company, but I have mostly have good things to say here. Um, just on this particular image. Gorgeous. I love the almost like gunmetal black painted cabinets. Almost looks like it's a little bit higher than normal. I can't quite tell, which, yeah, no big deal with that. Um, uh, this nice seated bar area here facing the window. What a beautiful um, way to enjoy the outdoors. Um, lighting above. Now, the lighting, it, it appears with the alignment, it might be slightly out far. I might have that a little bit closer to the windows so that it lights up the um, eating area, especially when there's no light you know, no natural light coming in from the outdoors. Um, you know, in this open shelf um, segment here with storage might be more display than function, um, but but beautiful colors. Love the stained wood floors with the white walls, the, the gunmetal black. Very good balance in this particular space. So great job on him for posting that. So look, guys, if you enjoy what, what I'm doing, this is just another um, element or a type of video that I do. It just came to me this morning, so I tried it out. If you like it, cool, you know, say, say so in the comments. Um, if you want more, and I'd love to do more for you. Thanks so much for watching.